on. Yabo. Yabo. Now that was a job well done by the Sunrise team this morning. And in fact, I listened and I watched with rapt attention. Hear me now. Mr. President, you've dragged the name of this country into the mud. It looks like at this time the president does not care how much shameful acts he embroils himself in. But please, please, this is an African saying. When you have a brother who is a madman and he walks naked on the streets, he will not feel the shame. The shame comes to the family. This is where the president has reached. Mr. President and this government do not really seem to see the shame that they are embroiled in. But we, the people of this country, my brother, my sister, we feel this shame. Listen up. Now, when you go deep into this story, it tells you something that is very clear. Al Jazeera wrote to the president before the documentary was aired. And he said, Mr. President, this is what documentary we have. These are portions of the documentary. And it's been alleged by a smuggler, a self-styled and self-acclaimed money launderer, a criminal. Alistair Matthias, he claims that his loins are tied to you. Mr. President, can you react to this? Mr. President wrote back to Al Jazeera and said, he did not remember if he had ever been a lawyer to Alistair Matthias. And if he ever had any wranglings with this man in terms of his criminality. My brother, Al Jazeera went ahead to publish the documentary. Went ahead by the tenets and principles of good journalism. Published what the president said at the end of the documentary. That when the president was contacted, this was what he had to say. Can you juxtapose this with what Alistair Matthias said? What has Al Jazeera done wrong? But because we have a president who is being fan fooled around, and when I say fan fooled around, being tossed around by the ocean's currents and waves. My brother, my sister, how many times have we seen this president controlled or seem to have been controlled in one way or the other by faceless people in government? Mr. President, my brother, my sister, hey, it's very interesting, my brother. Listen, man, Mr. President decided to write to Al Jazeera, commanding Al Jazeera to reply within seven days, retract and apologize. So Mr. President thought that by just saying, oh, I don't remember that I ever had any dealings with this man, Al Jazeera will not publish the story. What impudence, what arrogance. Now you have dragged this country into disrepute. No wonder this country is now lingering in the cup corn of absolute despondency when it comes to ratings in press freedom. Today when I look at these things, I cringe. Today when I look at these things, in the days when we had that beautiful crinkum crankum on our beautiful journalism, all those days are broken down and falling down just like a house of cards. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Listen, Mr. President is just chasing shadows and punching the air. That is what Mr. President is doing. It's a wild goose chase. Now Al Jazeera has responded. We owe you no apology. We know you are playing politics. We know that you are not a serious president, but we are a serious media house. Please, if you don't have matches and petrol, we will give you that and direct you to the sea. Where you can set the whole sea on fire. Thanks so much to Al Jazeera. But if Al Jazeera wrote to the president, why did they not publish that as well? And thanks so much to the Sunrise team that went all the way to Al Jazeera. In fact, produced by Sixtus Dong Ulo. They chased Al Jazeera and got Al Jazeera to bring us this information. I'll leave it here.